Thank you. What kind of image does the word tomorrow evoke for you? Is tomorrow a painful word? Does it mean simply more of the same dry, humdrum existence? Or does tomorrow create a feeling of excitement in your heart? Many people are terrified by the constant novelty of life. Challenge to them is something to be artfully sidestepped. Such people are comfortable only in a deep rut. It is the rut that offers them an illusion of security, an illusion of protection from change and challenge. I feel sorry for such people. To put it bluntly, they don't know what they're missing, and of course, what they're missing is life itself. I think one reason people run away from life is that they've never taken the trouble to get acquainted with life. They don't know what it's all about, how life surrenders its treasures to the man who reaches out for it. Right after this word, I'd like to tell you a couple of fascinating things that scientists have discovered about how life works for people. Recently, scientists have discovered that life will work with you if you'll just give it half a chance. This is a fact that a lot of us sort of knew instinctively and through experience, but now researchers have proven it beyond the shadow of a doubt. First of all, we know now that life operates in cycles. Rhythms of sleep, of physical activity, and reproduction follow well-defined periods. Some patterns are ruled by the rising and setting of the sun. Others are governed by ocean tides and the lunar month. Still others work in close harmony with the seasons. These biological clocks work in an almost magical way. The bees, for instance, are told mysteriously when it's time to gather nectar. There are nocturnal flowers that open up only when the insects that pollinate them are up and around. I was fascinated to learn that light seems to set many of these biological clocks. Normally, our body metabolism works at a higher rate during the daytime than at night. Our temperatures are higher during the day, too. On the other hand, the digestive system is more active during the night. What it boils down to, scientists say, is that all of life is exquisitely synchronized to its surroundings by a certain inborn sense of time. Those who will cooperate with their circumstances are the ones who get the most out of life. Those who fight nature get the least. Life has a way of being unkind to the cynic, to the fearful, to the coward. On the other hand, it has boundless rewards for those who reach out and grasp life, who learn what it has to tell them, and who work in harmony with it.